From the News Channel 5 Network, this is Sportsline. Hey there, Sports Line on your television. Steve Lehman here with you. Glad you are here with us on News Channel 5 Plus, and it is finally here. Titans training camp officially open. Players reported today at St. Thomas Sports Park and get set for practice number one tomorrow morning at 9.30. First of four straight days on the field for the Titans, and that's in their acclimation period before they gear up and really start to hit next week and get ready for the preseason. First game, August the 11th at Baltimore on a Thursday night and then they've got joint practices followed by two more preseason games against the Bucks and Cardinals before you wrap up the preseason and move along into a much anticipated regular season after the way things ended last year disappointing squandering home field advantage in the number one seed in the AFC playoffs losing to the Bengals after winning a second straight AFC South title expectations high that this team can do something again but it's a different looking team and the process begins now to try to build that team into a winner once again Mike Vrabel very honest about that so is John Robinson today we'll hear from both of those gentlemen coming up and when you look at this team there are some questions as they come back and some of those got answers today will they be permanent answers I don't know but some of those got answers today the biggest thing or the biggest news item of the day is 89 players reported out of 90. The one guy who did not report is Buster Screen, who informed the team he plans to retire. Screen is 33 years old. He's been in the league for 11 seasons, played with five different teams, including the Titans last year, signing here midseason, playing six games late, having 17 tackles and an interception. He was a valuable add in a season when the Titans were absolutely ravaged by injuries and helped them to continue to overcome those and ultimately win that division and be the number one seed in the playoffs. And he was a guy that certainly would have fought for a roster spot and, and a role in the secondary this season. But he decides at 33 years of age, it is time to hang up the pads. And so Buster Screen will officially retire at some point. And his time with the Titans is done. Therefore, the Titans don't really have a hole in the secondary because of all the guys they have there. Caleb Farley is healthy and back. By the way, he had two interceptions in the two days worth of practices that the rookies and injured players had out on the field or workouts that they had out on the field to get set for training camp. So you expect him to be back, first-round pick from a year ago. Christian Fulton, who goes into year three and has basically developed into a star for the Titans, is on the other side. You just drafted Roger McCreary in the second round, and you have Elijah Molden, who last year was a third-round pick and started pretty much as the nickelback in the defense last year as a rookie, he's there. Chris Jackson is back. You've got some pieces there. So it's one of the spots on the team where if you were going to lose a guy unexpectedly before you even step on the field to start training camp, that's a place where the Titans can afford to absorb it. So Buster Screen elects to retire. You feel good about Caleb Farley and his injury. You feel good about Robert Woods and his injury. Mike Vrabel said he's going to be about 90% as the Titans start training camp. And there's no reason to be too rushed with a veteran like that. Farley, you want to see some reps in the preseason because he frankly doesn't have many at the NFL level and hasn't played much football for about three years now. Woods has played a ton of football. And so you feel comfortable with him hopping on the field as he feels better and better as long as he's ready to go come week one and September 11th against the New York Giants. The other big question mark at wide receiver is Traylon Burks, who of course is the 18th overall pick, but really struggled with his conditioning and his struggles with asthma that hurt him in the offseason and didn't allow him to finish a lot of workouts or many OTAs with this team. He has worked very hard this summer to try to be in the best possible shape to lessen the complications of that when he has to get on the field here for training camp. And again, no practice time yet, hasn't put on the pads yet with this team, but all signs are that he came back over the weekend looking great and worked out well in those couple of days of workouts with the rookies. And today looked terrific in the conditioning test. Mike Vrabel, as a matter of fact, said the entire team looked fantastic in the conditioning test. 
You would hope there's no other answer to that, but there could be. And the idea that he said that certainly puts you at ease on that. Another question people had coming into training camp, Jeffrey Simmons held out the entire offseason, even did not stand on the field for mandatory minicamp. He did report today, so you don't have to worry about a holdout there. Seems like whatever contract conversations they are having, and you got to think they are having them, but it doesn't seem like the lack of a contract is going to force Simmons to try and do anything rash. He wants to be on the field. He wants to play with this team this year, whatever the contract is. And right now, that contract has him locked up for the Titans or by the Titans for the next two years, this season and a fifth-year option for next year. So that's where Jeffrey Simmons stands when it comes to the start of training camp as well. Other questions to get to, how does Ryan Tannehill bounce back? Both Mike Vrabel and John Robinson applauded his leadership through the offseason and what they've seen throughout the summer as well. Derrick Henry should be 100% and ready to go coming off the foot injury from last year, but Mike Vrabel said don't expect to see him in any preseason games. So if you were hoping to get him a little bit more work because of the way last season started, I don't think that's the change you're going to see in the preseason. I think Vrabel will adjust some things with what the team does in the preseason. I think having an extra joint practice like they're going to have this year. Last year they did it with one team. This year they're going to do it with two teams. I think that will help get you a little bit more acclimated towards regular season football. I think they'll ramp things up a little bit differently towards the first game. And I think you may see a little bit more preseason action from certain individuals. I do not think one of those individuals is going to be Derrick Henry based off of what we heard today from Mike Frabel. Offensive line, there are two positions up for grabs. Left guard, right tackle. How that will shake out, we don't know. But there's no assumed starter there from the Titans' perspective right now. Guys are going to have to win those jobs in training camp. They were also very high on Malik Willis. I don't think you're going to see a lot of him this year, but you are going to see a lot of him in the preseason behind Ryan Tano and getting him reps. Vrabel was very complimentary of his decision-making in the spring. What he said is he needs to improve in the operational aspects of things, and he's got to improve in the timing, getting the ball out quickly. And he thinks that can work hand-in-hand -hand with some of his accuracy issues, that if the timing is better, all of a sudden the throws are going to be in better spots. We'll see if that plays out, but certainly the Titans are high on Malik Willis after drafting him in the third round. And then defensively, Titans are excited about having Zach Cunningham back, excited about all the experience in the secondary. The pass rush should be staunch, and you've got a lot of depth up front, and this team loves to pride itself on what they do in the trenches, and they believe they can be very good on the defensive side of the ball in that regard. So that's sort of the update from day one with the Titans in terms of getting set for practice. They will get on the field at 9.30 tomorrow morning for practice number one of training camp. And of course, we will be there throughout the entire process. Coming up on the show tonight, we will hear from Mike Vrabel and from John Robinson and Vice President of Player Personnel Ryan Coden. But when we come back, we will visit with legendary News Channel 5 Sports Director Holt Hines and talk about Mark Howe. Of course, Mark passed away over the weekend, longtime sports anchor here at News Channel 5 and a huge part of what the legacy we try to lead on with every night is in what we do and the coverage we try to provide to you guys. I know he was in many of your living rooms many nights over his 20 years here. Others of you know him from his time on the radio and certainly with the Nashville Predators as well. But we will get to that. We'll get hopes, thoughts, and recollections of a guy that we all know very well, Mark Howard, when we come back. This is Sportsline on News Channel 5 Plus.